climate change. The world is confronting it, but West Asia is bearing the brunt of it. From heat waves to droughts, it seems like West Asia is in the forefront for climate change. But some countries are trying to tackle it artificially, like the United Arab Emirates. The UAE is turning to cloud seeding for artificial rain as demand for water shoots up in the Gulf nation. We tell you more. A twin turboprop aircraft takes off under the burning desert sun. Attached to its wings are salt canisters. On ground, officials scan weather maps. They are looking for cloud formations on their computer screens. Cloud seeding is considered the second hardest challenge for pilots. When there is a cloud, we try to figure out the way we need to go in and out of it in order to avoid thunderstorms and hail. The United Arab Emirates is one of the hottest regions on earth. It is also the driest. The Gulf nation receives less than 100 millimeters of rainfall a year, so it is looking for a solution, and the answer is cloud seeding, a way to increase precipitation artificially. Cloud seeding increases approximately 10 to 30 percent of the rainfall rate. Therefore, it increases water reserves, which is made available for the whole country. Officials say they believe cloud seeding can help. So how does it work? The UAE combines shooting hygroscopic or water-attracting salt flares with releasing salt particles. They are fired into the clouds. This helps stimulate and accelerate the condensation process. 15 to 30 minutes later, down comes the rain. Sometimes we see that the cloud has responded with a seeding operation using the nanotechnology, while other times we come back up again to release more flares. The UAE is already grappling with the effects of climate change. Combined with a growing population and a diversifying economy, the need for water has shot up in the Gulf nation. Until now, the UAE has relied on expensive desalination plants, those that make use of seawater, but now they are turning to cloud seeding. Now the other question that remains, is this harmful to the environment? In terms of the effect on the environment, cloud seeding nowadays, at least in the UAE, just uses salt flares, and that's what you get in table salt on your, on, on your kitchen table. So there's, there's no actual harm to the environment. Traditionally, chemicals such as silver iodide, which mimics the crystal structure of ice, have been used, but they're not used in the UAE today. In terms of carbon footprint, the planes that, are low, that, that fly up into the clouds are just small planes. And when compared to the billions of cars on the planet and the in huge planes doing international air travel every day, it's just a drop in the ocean in terms of carbon foot, foot, footprint and carbon emissions. West Asia Bureau, Beyond World is One.